Have you ever wondered how to enhance the security of your remote desktop connection? While Remote Desktop Protocol ReDP is a powerful tool for accessing your computer remotely, it can also be a target for unwanted access. Today, we will guide you through a crucial step in fortifying your system, changing the listening port for your remote desktop. So, if you're ready to bolster your security and gain more control over your remote connections, stay tuned. Let's break this process down into easy-to-follow steps. Changing the remote desktop listening port from the default can greatly reduce the likelihood of automated attacks as many malicious actors primarily target the standard port 3389. Now, let's jump right into it. Before we make any changes to the system, it is essential to back up your registry. The Windows registry is a crucial part of your operating system, and any incorrect changes could lead to unintended consequences. To create a backup, follow these steps. 1. Press the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. 2. Type in Regedit and press Enter to open the Registry Editor. 3. In the Registry Editor, click on File, then choose Export. 4. Select a location to save your backup, name the file, and ensure all is selected under Export Range. 5. Click Save. With your registry backed up, we can proceed safely. Now, let's change the listening port for Remote Desktop. Follow these steps closely. 1. Navigate to the following path in the Registry Editor, HK Local Machine System Current Controllist Control Terminal Server. 2. Locate the port number entry on the right side. 3. Double-click on port number. A dialog box will appear, allowing you to change the value. By default, the value is set to 3389. You may change this to any value between 1024 and 65535. However, it is advisable to avoid commonly used ports such as 8080 or 8443 to minimize the risk of conflict with other applications. 4. Enter your new port number and click OK. After changing the port number, it is crucial to configure your Windows firewall to allow traffic through the new port. Here's how you can do that. 1. Open the control panel then select System and Security. 2. Click on Windows Defender Firewall and then select Advanced Settings on the left panel. 3. In the Windows Firewall with Advanced Security window, click on Inbound Rules. 4. Select New Rule from the right-hand panel. 5. Choose Port and click Next. 6. Select TCP and then specify the new port number you set in the registry. 7. Choose Allow the Connection and proceed to click Next. 8. Select the profiles for which this rule applies domain, private, public, as per your networking needs. 9. Name the rule for example, ReDP new port and click finish. Now, we need to inform the remote desktop connection client of the new port number. When you connect to your computer using remote desktop, you will need to specify the new port. Here's how. 1. Open the remote desktop connection application. 2. In the computer field, enter the IP address of your computer followed by a colon and the new port number. For example, if your IP address is 192.168.1.2 and your new port is 5000, you would enter 192.168.1.2.5000. This format ensures that the client knows to connect through the specified port. Finally, it's time to test the new connection. Ensure that the remote desktop service is running on your computer and attempt to connect using the remote desktop connection app with your new settings. Congratulations! You have successfully changed the listening port for remote desktop on your computer. This simple yet effective step can significantly enhance your system's security. Remember to inform any users who may need to connect to your machine about the new port number. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more insightful tech tips. If you have any questions or encounter issues during the process, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and stay secure online.